Good afternoon, welcome back to the shop. My name's Jamie, and today we're gonna to be working on this quill handle on my bridge port. The way that these are designed is that you should be able to, by moving this lever in and out, you should be able to reset the position where you wanna crank down on the quill so you can do your operation. Unfortunately with mine, I've found that I've had to, you know, in order to get the depth that I needed on some cuts, you know, I'm way out here, and I just don't have the leverage that I need uh, to make the operation smooth. So we're going to take this apart, see what's on the inside, see what's not working, and fix it. All right, here we go. Let's take this guy apart. Yeah, there's some kind of spring in here, so just be careful with that. All right, so there's a small spring on the back side of the cover plate. Seems like this guy just wants to come out. All right, there's a pin. Looks like that's on a on a shaft. Oh, and there's yeah, the little pin comes out here in the back. All right, so not, it must have something to do with how this pin is getting pushed in and that's ability to kind of reset the racketing, uh, the ratcheting mechanism. Let me see if we can kind of emulate that somehow. I don't feel anything that feels like it wants to. That this thing would click into to disengage. All right, there's another set screw here on the side. Let's take that off. Okay, all right, so, I mean, this does look pretty simple, right? You've got a pin that should be going through here, grabbing one of those um, holes and moving it through. So why is this not working? Should be able to do that. Move it and lock it back in. I don't know if that set screw was somehow, you know, maybe that set screw is too tight. Because it sure looks like it would work now. All right, I'm going to take two minutes, clean this up, and come right back. All right. And again, I think what happened was that this...
there's two there's two grooves on this shaft here and I just think that the I just think that this uh, set screw, which looks like it's designed to fit inside that groove, was just too tight and was binding it up. So this could be a nice easy fix. I don't know, I guess you wonder, you know, is this worthy of spending the time to post a video about it? Yeah, I think that's the issue. If I keep that tight, but here if I loosen it, then it'll rotate freely. So there's probably an appropriate amount of tightness that you want. I've got a, it doesn't feel great. Like it feels like that set screws are kind of just loose. Um, but if I tighten it up anymore, you know, I can feel it kind of binding. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep that guy kind of loose. So now that I've got that, this is the, um, the locking mechanism. So there's a spot with a hole in it, goes in here, a very small little pin, slides in. Nice little basic setup, a little WD-40. And that slides here into that, that spot. This is a pretty basic setup. I like it. Nice and simple. And we've got the cover plate. So as I was saying, look, you know, if this helps one person, then there it is. Uh, the only reason why I make these videos is to, uh, you know, hopefully there's somebody out there that this saves them a little bit of time. And we all know how it is when you're not in the shop and you're, it's at, towards the end of the day and you're just at home on the couch or whatever and you just want to watch more shop stuff. So if you can't be in the shop, why not watch shop stuff? So I've done my fair share of that. I thought I would start doing these videos just to give back a little bit. Okay, yep, so I can pull this out. I can pull this out and it releases and then I can let it go in and I can bite it. It'll grab. I can do that. That works out great. All right, no, and we got a little logo on here. What does that say? That is very hard to read. Ohio. Looks like a 40. 
Oh, there's a name up there. Oh, that looks like it says on, O-N. But it actually looks like maybe it's missing some, maybe it's the name of the location. Something, uh, something ends in O-N, Ohio, where it's made. All right, well, that was a nice quick fix. I'm really happy about that. Get that quill back in operation.